Hey guys, we did it. We hit a thousand subscribers. I just wanted to take a moment and thank you all for watching. Honestly, it really means a lot to me. Also, for the thousand subscriber special, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So if you want a chance to have your question answered in a video, or if there's just something that you're dying to know about old Matty out here, drop it in the comments down below and I'll answer it in the video. The more questions I get, the sooner that I can put out the video, so feel free to tweet me your questions too. I'm at MattyOYT on Twitter. Anyway, that's enough about, uh, you know, channel news for now. Thank you again for a thousand subscribers. You guys are the best, but let's jump right into today's episode. A few videos back, we talked about a certain gamer girl, Belle Delphine, getting arrested. Well, it came to my attention that at the same time, another YouTuber had a run-in with the police. I'm talking about her boy, Morgs. That's right, Morgs Hudson. I know what you're thinking. What did he do? Did he pull a Belle Delphine and spray paint a car because his hamster was stolen? Did he steal Belle Delphine's hamster? Is he the hamster napper? Did Belle Delphine get arrested spray painting Morgz's car? Is this the most epic crossover event in the history of YouTube? No, it wasn't. Because this is Morgz and everything he does is scripted. Which honestly, thank God. If Morgz went to prison, we'd be left in a world without such classics as surprising my mom with a new car, then destroying it, dot dot dot, and last to leave the desert island wins $10,000 challenge and i don't think that i could live without those videos i don't know about you guys but i could not do it without oh wh what what's that we could just watch mr beast wow i didn't know that mr beast and morgs work together all their videos are the same oh oh they don't morgs's videos are kind of ripoffs all right everybody i've changed my mind we can ship him off to jail now i mean just look at this news report that he had in his video it's worthy of jail This just in, local authorities have issued a warrant for the arrest of Morgan Hudson, aka Morgs. The details of the crime committed by the 18 year old YouTuber are currently unknown. However, it is believed that he is still on the loose and could be dangerous. Now if there's something that Morgs did that's a crime, it's this news report. Wowza. Did he pay his uncle to stand in front of a green screen or something? Because I know it's the Morgs channel and everybody knows that it's fake, but come on, you could have put a little more money into the realism. You couldn't have started with a higher budget for the news report. I mean, have you ever turned on a news and it's just some random dude standing in the center of the screen like, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Gary Newman, and I'm here in the studio alone bringing you the up to the minute news report. I just got off the phone, and I'm very sorry to say that YouTuber Morgs is under arrest. Well, actually, they haven't arrested him yet, but there's a warrant out. And also, the banner below me really specifically tells you that he's 18 years old, because I thought that that was an important message of the story. Anyway, that's it. Gary Newman out. But somehow, Morgs expects us to believe that his parents, Jill, and the absolute legend, Bald Martin, are fooled by this charade. Though, to be honest, Bald Martin and Jill, some of the best acting I've ever seen. Just take a look. Look at that. Absolutely Oscar worthy. Jill's shocked expression and Martin, the way Martin covers the TV with his coffee. Wow. And then, as if the acting couldn't get any better, they start listing off all the things and Bald Martin says that Morgs might have robbed a bank. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I think of Morgs, I think of a hardened criminal. I think of a bank robber, you know? When I look at him, he looks like the kind of dude who might rob a bank. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but uh, he looks pretty tough. I mean, in actuality, it's kind of strange how they jump to the assumption that he's a hardened bank robber just hours after tearing him apart when he said that he met a girl. Like, come on, there's no chill on those guys whatsoever. I feel so bad for Morgz. Dude cannot catch a break, even with his own parents, dude. Also, I kind of want to point out just how expressive Bald Martin's face is. 
Like, you know Morgz always does this weird stare into the camera and don't move his head but talk really loudly so his face is really expressive? Bob Martin does this thing with his expressions. It's, it's an art, honestly. He should have been an actor because the way that he, he can move his face, it really conveys his feelings and emotions, you know? Instead of an actor, though, he, he's now the father to a wanted criminal because Morgz is pulling a truly epic prank this time. The police even show up to the house. Bob Martin doesn't deserve that. Jill Hudson, she probably deserves that. Bob Martin does not deserve that. And now, I'm not sure what kind of laws you guys over in the UK have, but uh, this cop ain't exactly the brightest bulb. Hello? Mrs. Hudson? Yes? I'm looking for Morgan Hudson. Does he live here? Yes, yeah. I'm uh, needing him for questioning, I'm afraid. I don't understand. What, questioning? Yeah, we need to ask him some questions regarding the crime. I don't understand. This has to be a mistake. Morgan won't do anything wrong. What's he meant to have done anyway? He's wanted to question him. I can't comment on an ongoing investigation. Now, I don't know if it's just an American thing, but I'm pretty sure the police have to tell you why they're arresting you in most places. I mean, you can't, the cops just can't come up and put a black bag over your head. This isn't 1984. Morgue's videos don't take place in a dystopian future, as far as I'm aware. Good on Jill for standing up for Morgue's rights. I told you that I can't do that. I have a search warrant. I have access to this property by law. You know this search warrant? That's what I think of it. There's your warrant. Bob Martin is legitimately the coolest YouTube dad out there. I mean, not that there's too much uh, competition. You know, you got the Ace Family dad. You got the dad from some other family vlog you got uh, jake paul's dad not too much competition in the youtube dad game but bob martin is definitely at the top of the list this guy is standing up to the law to protect morgues tearing up the warrant throwing it in their face risking jail time i respect the hustle martin i respect it you see in america that kind of thing would have gotten you a one-way ticket to jail but it seems like these guys are way more understanding at least, you know i thought so at first you see the cop was just calling in his backup and they're going in to arrest morgues they're breaking down the door. I need you to pay real close attention to the cops in the next clip here. Open up. I will force entry. Okay. Taser. Big Morgs hired the best police actors for this prank that he could find. I mean, if this wasn't scripted and it was a real prank, this would have ruined it. Because they roll up in an American style police car wearing the shoulder patches of an American flag and Gotham City Police. Gotham. Those guys work with Batman. Like, if, if you didn't know that this was a, like, scripted thing beforehand, you gotta know now, because even his parents would look at him and go, Wait a second, you don't look like British police. British police don't wear American flags. And the cops would be like, oh, yes, it's a new outfit. We're talking about the colonies. And then Jill Hudson would have been like, well, the, the Americans left us a while ago. Why are you guys wearing... The, they're not our colony anymore. And the cops would go, oh, no, we're found out. Let's get out of here. I don't know. But, like, come on. If this was real, Morgz must have done something super bad. I mean, I don't know what Morgs is into, but if Gotham City Police are showing up, you're in a you're, you're in a bad way, because those guys work with Police Chief James Gordon. They work with Batman. They don't turn up to your house for the proverbial glass of spilled milk. These guys deal with real hardened criminals like the Joker and some other Batman villain. And honestly, you can tell that because the force that they use to arrest Morgs is so much more excessive than they need. It's like they're taking down a five-star criminal in GTA. I'm surprised Morg didn't rent an attack helicopter to lend more realism to the scene. Get down on the floor now! Please, call no! I don't think I'm not giving you no warning. Get down on the floor now! Man, you can really tell why Morgs had originally titled this video Police Prank on Parents, Mum Cries, because that was a roller coaster. I thought Big Jill was gonna body those two, and honestly, I don't know if those cops would stand a chance against her. I mean, her clout alone. She's beaten both Mimius and Willanian subscribers, 
And me, but you know, we're not counting that. She's got enough clout to, <laughs> to get rid of these guys, to drive them into the ground. She could take them on without even a fight. But my man Morgs still got taken away. And in the end, you know, honestly, with Morgs, you'd expect, oh, it's noise complaints. Maybe he's borrowing video ideas a little too much. Or maybe even a hamster napping that got him arrested. But no, in this video, what got Morgs in the big house is electronics theft. It's a sad day for us all. And I want to see some Fs in the chat for Morgs, boys, because he's going away in the police cruiser. Anyway, whose arrest was better, guys? Morgs or Belle Delphine's? Morgs definitely gave us more backstory to his arrest. You know, we got the acting for Bald Martin and Jill. We got a whole lot of stuff in there. We got the Gotham police showing up. We got Batman coming in, busting down the door. But with Belle Delphine, you know, I think the mystery of it was what got us all invested in the first place. I'm not really sure. What, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Which one do you like better, Morgs or Belle Delphine? And like always, I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to leave a like if you want or subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you next time. Matteo, out.